Hi, well in this film I'm going to be making a special tool for hollowing out spoons and also it can be used for cleaning off the bottom of wooden turned bowls. And it's a lovely tool, lots of leverage on it for making good spoons. So here goes, nice bit of blacksmithing on this one. I'm using a charcoal burning forge here. It's quite nice actually, it gives out a lot of heat, quite a lot of sparks <laughs> and it burns out quite quickly. But overall pretty good. The first stage is to unwind the spring and I've heated it up, used the tongs, draw it out a bit and then stretching it around the pritual hole and giving it a good old tug and it's quite hard work. I was with a group of friends and as always they give plenty of advice and sort of cat calls from the sidelines, <laughs> always quite entertaining. Use your man strength. Yes. Next stage is to do a hot cut to cut off a, just a short length for spring. That's all I need for this particular tool. Once it's been nicked with a hot cut, it's actually quite easy to sort of break it off. Oh yeah, blimey, just that little fracture. Yeah, come off it. That's all you need. Wow, well done. Yeah, it's a bit nice bit of heat and it's a bit easier, isn't it? Once it's been straightened out, the next step then is to heat it again and actually punch out the bowl shape. I used an old swage block to get the nice bowl shape. Lovely tool to use, <laughs> but very heavy to lift. I liked using the bellows forge. The bellows are nice and quiet to use and pedal away softly. I'm now bending the stem of the spoon shape. I'm doing this over the bickety anvil, trying to sort of rotate the work and keep the hammer blows in the one place. Being nice and hot, that metal's bending quite well. I had a photograph I was sort of working to, because I took a picture of one of these that someone else had been making. That certainly helped. I'm just now doing the finishing touches to the actual bend in the bowl shape to find the little curve and that. Find this little lighter hammer, you can get quite accurate precision with it. And here is the finished item. I haven't obviously done the grinding or cleaning yet, but that's the basic shape. Having forged the spoon knife to a sort of rough shape, I'm now going to do a bit of rough grinding. So I've got a coarse grinding wheel here. I've actually raised the guard, I am wearing eye protection, but I find it easier to actually see it wearing eye protection on my eyes. So it may not look so good for the camera, but I assure you I am wearing eye protection, which is pretty essential for this sort of thing. I'm trying to get a nice curve around the front edge. That's the sort of thing I want. Fairly important thing here is to keep it moving. Really just so you get a nice smooth piece of metal.
You soon get rid of all the hammer marks, it's surprising. Yeah, it's pretty close to where I want to be actually. So I've got that quite nicely now shaped all around. I'll just do a little bit of work inside the bowl with a flat wheel and then it'll be ready for the hardening and tempering. So I'm just going to use this um, sanding wheel now in my flexible drive to do a little bit of work inside the actual bowl of this spoon tool. This will just get it all sort of roughly again. I'm only looking at forgetting things at the moment roughly the shape. Start to see what we're trying to deal with. So I've now cleaned up the inside as well. Get it into focus for you. There we are. So that's the inside cleaned up. That's the underside. So my next stage now is to harden this by heating it up and plunging into oil. To harden I'm taking it up to a bright cherry red with my gas burner and then I'll plunge it into cooking oil and I'm sorry the cooking oil is actually slightly out of camera view but it's just a jar of ordinary vegetable oil. It takes quite a little while to get this up to red heat doing it fairly evenly and when it gets plunged into the oil it may get a little bit of flaming um, so to get some smoke so anyway you know then it's done the job. Having hardened the blade, I'm now heating it to temper it, so it's not brittle, this makes it softer, but just about right to take a good edge. And the idea is to get a straw coloured edge to the tool, so you saw that going from purple through to sort of a straw colour. And then plunge it into water for a rapid cool. And in a minute I'll show you the actual colours, they've been sort of frozen in time on the metal. There it is, nice brown edge, and that's exactly what we want. I'm just cleaning up the spoon gouge tool <laughs> using a little sanding drum. I find these quite useful. I run them off my pillar drill on a cable drive. I'm uh, just going around the inside of the bowl now with the sanding drum. Just trying to get that as smooth as I can. Well, I'm just polishing up now using my special buffing wheel, a very hard felt wheel here with some green oxide soap on it. A bit mucky but really very effective at getting quite a nice cleaned edge. This brown wheel is a little bit softer so I'm not certain you can see that on camera but I'm beginning to get quite a nice shiny edge which is what I want. Gonna lose the edge, but want to get a nice, good quality cutting edge. That is beginning to feel pretty sharp, and there's quite a nice mirror coming up there. I'm now going to drill out the handle for this tool. I want the handle to go in a fair way actually. I'll go a slightly smaller bit. Then it should be a nice tight snug fit. Well, I'm just giving this tool a little try out actually just to see if it's going to work for doing spoon bowls or also for cutting off the bowls from a pole lathe and I think actually my initial impression is quite favourable there's a fair bit of leverage on this and you can get quite a nice good deep pit which um, for spoons will be very good actually.
obviously you break out on the far end but you just go from the other end then not doing this terribly well with the camera in a way but I think you get the idea it does give a nice bit of leverage actually I'm very pleased with this as a tool I think I need to do a little bit more work on its edge but that is taking off a nice shaving well it's quite a deep smooth pit already so that's done that really very quickly so you're trying to hollow out a, a spoon that would work very well if you were wanting just to remove the stub off a bowl mandrel I think the leverage on this tool as it has a sort of scooping action would be really good so there you are. Well here's a close up of the finished tool. See it's quite a stubby little tool. Funny little spoon bit. But it's just a thing for hollowing out spoons or for removing the, the waste off a turned bowl. Very pleased about all in. And look it's made by BMW motor cars. The whole spring was from a BMW motor car. I think that's very encouraging. I saw someone using something similar and I was really very impressed at the speed they were turning out the spoons and I can now see why. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and thanks for watching. <laughs>